Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to uh, yield uh, one minute to another outstanding uh, member of the House Financial Services Committee, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Chairman. I also want to thank Ms. Williams for her leadership. Uh, Mr. Speaker, President Obama would have us believe that the American people are incapable of making our own choices, that we're just not smart enough. From health care to education to now personal retirement accounts, the Obama administration thinks government knows best. Remember when Obamacare architect Jonathan Gruber claimed, quote, the stupidity of the American voter. A recent administration ruling by the Department of Labor demonstrated this arrogance again when it said Americans, quote, seldom have the training or specialized expertise necessary to prudently manage retirement assets on their own. This is unbelievable because the government can't even manage the taxpayers' do dollars. So their solution to uh, our apparent stupidity is an $80 billion ruling that will increase costs for lower to middle income investors and limit access to quality investment advice. Some solution this is. Mr. Speaker, there are already measures in place to provide incentives for advisors to act in their clients' best interest, measures that are far less costly and far less restrictive. To Jonathan Gruber, President Obama, and members of this administration who think they know better than the average American, let this bipartisan opposition illustrate how wrong they are. Mr. Speaker, I urge passage of the Retail Investor Protection Act. I yield back and in God